Okay, I'm rolling. Um, what I want to talk about right quick is an audio interface versus a USB mixer for your project studio setup. Um, and I'm going to use this. I'm going to use this. For example, this is the Behringer Firepower FCA 610, right? USB mixer and what it has on it. It has basically two microphone inputs, Midas style microphone input uh, preamps, volume controls, and it gives you the option to do 48 volt phantom power on per unit. Uh, a switch for instruments like high Z inputs for instruments and a pad roll off. It also has two a pair of uh, headphone inputs for you can listen to headphones and you got a mix blend and a, an output blend. And allows you to switch between, you know, this one you can switch between digital inputs like SPDIF, ADAT connections, you know, you and you can hook up and they all can do USB. It's all on the back. So you got a total of a total of four inputs. And you can also do eight outputs on this. So you can do actually actually ten outputs if you use the SPDIF connection. Plus you can do uh, ADAT connections. Um so and a lot not just this Behringer one but uh, there's quite a few interfaces um make sure they ain't blown across the mic like that probably was <laughs> um so um yeah that's probably yeah i hope that wasn't messing up my work so anyhow this interface is this is a common this is the common choice that most people buy it doesn't necessarily have to be a Behringer but they buy an interface something like this uh, it could be an audience or an apa, you know, a, uni a universal audio or an M audio or something like that. Most people buy an interface like this. Now, what I'm using from what I'm using to record this video is basically a USB mixer. It's the Behringer USB mixer. It's got once again, it's got two microphone. Uh, it's got two microphone. Um, mic preamps on it uh, it's got a couple of built-in uh set compressors an eq and you can hook up to six uh inputs on it plus you can do an external send you know and return to to, to process maybe some outboard gear like a compressor or something like that or reverb unit whatever and it's also a usb device that you can use as an audio interface so the thing is what I'm going to show you now that I just picked up is I picked up the Art Tube Mix. It's a five channel mixer with USB and it has a tube circuit in it. And I'm I'm going to unbox this because I, my thought process unlike a basic interface where you just have the you just have the connections to connect but a lot of times you might want to finesse your signal, but a little bit of EQ or, you know, things like that. Um, well, most interfaces are not going to have compressor or EQs on it. Um, and this is just a, an option to give you a little bit more warmth. You might want to get a little bit more character to your recordings because most people were most people like a lot of us. We're only recording one or two things at a time into our DAW. I call them VRSs. You're gonna if you watch my channel, you're gonna see that you'll get enough of why I call it a VRS. But um, so you might want to think about you might want to think about um, choosing. This might be an actual better option. Unless you know the only downside to this is you can only record one or two things into your DAW at, the, at one time. And uh, you might need an interface or something that could be multi-channel. Um, but for most people, they're only recording their vocals. Then they'll come back and come back, come back and lay their bass, or they'll come back and lay down their. They'll come back and lay down their guitar part, and they'll come back and lay down the vocals or whatever. And they're they're going through the their interface. Well. You're getting a USB mixer type interface might be a better option because it gives you a little bit more control. Because if you, if you, let's think about it like this 
in the professional recording studio, they're going to signal chain vocals and things like that before they record it into the recording source, whether it's going to tape, the hard disk recorder, or through an ADDA converter that's going to go into their DAW, like Pro Tools or something like that. So they're going to go through an uh, uh, they're going to go through an extensive preamp, and then they're going to signal chain it to maybe a 1176 or an LA2 compressor or something like that, or a Tube Tech compressor or something like that. It's going to be their vocal chain, or they might use a channel strip like my Avalon 737 or something like that. Then that's that's what you're hearing most of the time. And a lot of that's going through the circuits being monitored through a console, something like this Allen Heath, that it's it's getting even more signal processing through the through the analogs of the console because it goes through the console and then directs out or buses out to the interface that goes into the DAW. So all that signal warmth that you hear on vocals and things like that, that's the secret sauce to why those recordings sound like they sound. So why not invest in a mixer usb that's going to give you close to that same warmth um that you hear on recording so um next what i'm going to do is i'm going to record some some tracks and then i'm going to use the usb mixer this one to record the tracks including vocals to see how it sounds how it comes out with my experience of doing this for so many years I'm almost positive that this is going to sound good for the recording so I'm going to unbox it to show you you know this is the art to mix I, I this caught my attention it's not new but it caught my attention I'm like hmm um I don't know why more people that are, if you're just doing recording a couple of channels of recording sources to your DAW why no most people haven't considered this route um, so I'm gonna I'm buy, let's see what comes in the box so we're gonna open this up and put this on the floor I'm gonna open this up it's got a little weight to it which is a good thing I like equipment that's got weight to it that mean a lot of times it's well built so it comes we got a power supply here right we got a power supply um so next and then we have the unit all right so and of course in the bottom of the box is the instructions i'm gonna pull those out it's always good to read the manual we got a manual so we're gonna and I know some of y'all are like, well, why would you, with all the gear that you got, why would you, why would you buy something like this? You already got some, some really, you know, you got some serious gear. Why would you? Because this is, this could be perfect for taking on the road. You know, you take yourself a little Mac Mini or something like that, laptop or whatever. You take this with you and a little, like a little controller and you know you're set you can on the road recording studio that's why i might take this with me i could be in the hotel room and have my little controller and i might need something to record vocals and record my you know whatever and bam there you have it so there it is it's pretty solid made so i'm going to set it up and listen to it and and I think it's going to come out because I like art products. Art, art makes some really good products. ART, which stands for Applied Research Technology. Art makes some really good. And for them to have a 12AX7 tube in here, some tube warmth, I, you know, I'm almost, I am without a doubt, this is going to be a killer mixer. Um, so on the mixer, uh, we do have... Two microphone input channels, you know, two channels that have mic mic pre's on it. A stereo, three four uh, stereo input for left for three and four stereo, and then five is also another one that has a gain knob on it, so it has a preamp in it. It also comes with a couple of set of auxiliary sends on it. It also has a three band fixed EQ pan, and then of course your level knobs. 
on it. So you got your three band EQ, a couple of auxiliary sends, pan left and right, and, the, and the, uh, the channel volume. And then of course you got your master. And then you can assign, you can assign phantom power right here. And you got of course your level meters and your master. And of course, you know, you got main out. You know, you can set up a couple of monitors, like a couple of studio monitors if you wanted to, to listen to it. A couple of auxiliary sins. Um, so it's got a, some really nice features. It's got the USB connection on the back. Um, and of course, the power connection. So I think this is going to be an awesome unit. I, I'm, 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 I'm almost positive, without a doubt, this is going to um, sound good for recording um, numerous sources. So that's going to do it for this video. Um, I think that's a perfect alternative than the traditional USB audio interface route, you know, like a Focusrite 2i2 or, uh, you know, like that Behringer Firepower or an M-Audio or an Audient. I think, I don't know why people, a lot of people have not decided to go that route and give themselves some more control over their recordings because the front end is the key crucial thing to any great recording is getting a good front end that's a good front end recording gives you allows you to mix um better so that's going to do it for this video um and that's it thanks for watching y'all have a great one